Hello everyone and welcome to BJA Ceramics. My name is Benita and of course you see in front of me is a speed ball pottery wheel that I just purchased for my studio. It's the Big Boss and I am going to do a review on it. I am also going to do some demos on it so you can see how it operates. Stay tuned. All right, so this is the Big Boss by Speedball. This is the new pottery wheel that I just purchased uh, not too long ago. So I'm just gonna walk around and let you see what it looked like. Um, right here you see the turning wheel here. It comes with a splash pan that comes off. Just pull it off here, clean it. Sorry, it's a little dirty. I have been throwing on it. Um, it comes out pretty easily so that you can clean it. it comes with a beautiful, a beautiful um, pedal here. Um, very, very sturdy, very heavy um, materials. It feels like it's been made pretty well. I'll push down on it. it turns easily as you press down on it okay, and turn it off now underneath the speed ball is um, it does come with an on and off switch let me see if I can get down here show you excuse my mess it's a little messy in here here is the on and off switch here it does come in reverse as well so in case you are left-handed you can switch it to a left hand, right hand. You can switch it to a right for a right-handed thrower. I'm gonna press on the wheel and I'm gonna let you hear the sound of the wheel. So it's relatively low, it's not a lot of noise. So good sound, goes up very high. Let me take it up to the maximum speed. And that is the maximum speed shut it off now this pottery wheel let's see it just right now is retailing for about a little over eleven hundred dollars and it has uh, 1.0 horsepower it could take 150 pounds of clay um, it also um, uses the standard plug in a house I know when I was interested in looking at pottery wheels I wanted to know if it takes the standard um, outlets in the home and this one does this also has a 10-year warranty which is great um, as I said the wheel is sturdy and it does have a reverse function to it uh, when I bought it I, the only thing I had to install were the legs which was very easy it does come with two bats and uh, come with the, the square bat and then you have your round, I believe this is a 12 inch round bat. And it also comes with um, the pins that go inside of the, uh, that go in the wheel right here. So overall, it is a great wheel. I previously had a Speedball, um, the Artista, which I love. Uh, I had the portable wheel. Uh, my studio was very small. So um, I was interested in buying something really small, and I was wondering if this, um, if the big balls would fit in my my uh, studio, and it fits very well in a corner. As you can see right here, I have it right up against the wall. It's it does not take up a lot of space. The only difference between this one and the Artista is that you can carry the Artista wheel around with you, so that uh, in case you want to throw at a different location, you can carry it around with you. Um, I might do a review on the Artista as well. Um, and as I said, this is a great pottery wheel. I am a fan of Speedball. Um, I don't know. What else can I say about it? Easy assembly. Um, is It is a bit heavy. It is a bit heavy, which is good. Um, when you're throwing, you want something that does not wiggle around. And it, this one does not wiggle around. So I was really happy with that. Um, I will show you a demo um, in a few minutes. Um, I think that's about it. Um... I think that's about it. So if you're looking for a really inexpensive uh, pottery wheel, like I said, right now is retailing for a little over $1,100. This is Speedball. I believe this is the top of the line with Speedball. Um, they have a couple of other um, uh, pottery wheels, but this is the top of the line. 
I train, I, I originally when I learned how to throw, I train on a Brent and this does remind me of a Brent. So if you, you're used to a Brent, this is pretty good as well. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like throwing. All right, so I have a small amount of clay here. All right, so I am going to do a demo and um, instead of just throwing on the wheel here itself. I'm going to use my bat system that I have. I purchased this maybe about four years ago and I love it. It was very inexpensive and I love it because the bats are wide enough for me to throw mugs on it, bowls, or anything. And, and of course I can pull it out easily once I finish throwing. That way I don't have to disturb what I've thrown and everything can stay intact. So let me clean my hands off a bit. Okay, so I'll show you how it, how it works. As you can hear the sound, it's very, very mild sound. And let me, let me center my clay. I'm gonna call them up. Okay, increase my speed. Come up, calm down. Center it, and I'm just doing a, a little karate chop that I like to do. Okay. Slow it down a little bit, clean off my wheel. Sometimes centering can be a blast, right? All right, let's do this again. All right, there we go. Okay, let me just clean this up a little bit. Make my entering, use my thumbs. Press down in the middle. And as I was saying, Speedball is one of my favorite pottery wheels. Mm -hmm. um, I love my Artista so much that I wanted to get another one. Let me slow my wheel down a little bit. So now I'm going to start pulling as if I was making a mug. So I'm gonna pull. Hopefully you can see this well. Making a cylinder. Okay. So I love to belly up my cup, so I'm just going to make a little belly here. And, uh, and uh, make it a little wider at the bottom. As you can see, it's very easy to throw. Noise level is, is I guess it's normal. Mm. 
I don't have my other tool with me. Clean up some of this at the bottom. Okay, so there you go. As you can see, it's very easy to throw on it. The noise level is, is low. Uh, a very powerful wheel for the price. I will, I, I, of course, I recommend it. Um, as I said, I, I use a lot of Speedball uh, products and um, I just love their product. It works for me. If you have a small studio like I do, it will fit into your small studio very easily. Easy tray to clean off. Take it apart. I don't see any downside and nothing. There's nothing here that I believe um, is wrong with it. It functions very well. The height is, is perfect for me. Um, I'm sitting on a, I believe this is an 18 inch, um, the stool. The stool is 18 inches, so um, it's equivalent to a stool that you would find in a classroom. So it is perfect height for what I am doing. Um, so yeah, this is this is the, the big ball speed wheel, speed ball. And as you can see here, I hope you can see this part here. There's a lot of room here. If you want to put your bucket with your water here, any of your pottery tools can go there um, to store as you throw. So as I said, it's a fantastic product, a fantastic wheel. I recommend it. I think it's a, a wonderful, powerful wheel if you are beginner or advanced. Um, and yeah, so thumbs up for me. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and subscribe and if you have any comments, any questions or anything, please leave questions and I will be happy to answer them. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.